My name's Andy Heben. I'm project director at Square One Villages, and we're here at our third project, Cottage Village, where we're about to hold our open house after completing our first nine homes. And we know a lot of you at home aren't able to make it out because of various reasons, and so we wanted to provide you with this quick video tour so you can see the progress we've made. Uh, so we first started this project back in 2016 when we got a grant from My Memorial Trust to replicate our Emerald Village development in Eugene in a rural community with fewer resources and we partnered with the Cottage Village Coalition, an existing group here in town with a similar vision. Uh, so we've been working with them for the past several years. We purchased this property in May of 2017. It's about an acre in size and the existing zoning here in the city of Cottage Grove for medium density residential allows us to put 13 homes on this site in addition to the existing single family house on the site, which will renovate into a community center for the residents that are living in the tiny homes and it will also have a 14th unit in there. So this is our Model B unit at Cottage Village. It was designed by Arbor South Architecture. Uh, you might recognize it. It's the same design that we built as one of the units at Emerald Village. We just modified it a little bit, made it a little bit uh, bigger and took some suggestions from uh, the residents there into consideration. Uh, it's an 18 by 18 footprint, uh, 284 square feet uh, with a little cutout here for a nice covered porch. Uh, same construction method as the, the previous house, just a little bit bigger. So if you want to come inside, we can take a look. So we've got this area here where you can set up a table, seating. Uh, we've got a kitchen with uh, many of the same amenities as the, uh, the previous house with a fridge, sink, hot plate, uh, and microwave. And again, we'll have a, a larger kitchen in the community center that you can use for group meals if you want. Um, we also have another legal sleeping loft here built uh, to the tiny house building code appendix uh, that was re recently adopted in Oregon. Um, Ladder access, it can be picked up and moved so you can kind of hang it in a, a different spot and uh, move it around if you want. Uh, again, we have a space here if you want to have your bed on the, the ground floor and use the loft for storage. Uh, here we have shown uh, a little couch here. We also have a nice amount of storage in this unit with a, a full-size closet. Down here you can see uh, some volunteers put together welcome baskets for each of our residents so everybody's moving in with uh, you know some basic cleaning supplies and dishes and towels and such. Uh, and then in here we have uh, a bathroom uh, with a full-size uh, standard 30, 30 by 60 tub, uh, sink, and a toilet. So we've completed nine of the homes here and residents will be moving in shortly, but we still have four homes that are just a foundation as you can see here. Uh, they follow two different floor plans, one designed by Studio E Architecture and the other designed by Roll Brokaw Architecture. They're a little bit bigger floor plans at 12 by 24 footprint and they both have pretty large sleeping lofts. Uh, two of them will be ADA accessible. Um, so we're looking forward to getting started on these next. We're still looking to raise $300,000 so that we can complete these buildings, so that we can renovate our community centers, so that our residents have extra space to use for gathering and cooking uh, and laundry, and also so that we can complete the landscaping around here. My name is Zach Waters. I'm the founder of A Lee Dog Story and Homes for Hearts. We hope you can find it in your heart this winter to give towards our first tiny home build in Memphis, Tennessee. Help us save a life this year. Help us change someone's life, 2021.